All right. Thank you. Um, what can I call, what, what do I call you? Max? Just say Max. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Max, for uh, agreeing to be interviewed for my YouTube channel. Hope you have fun. Thank you. I'm, answering these I'm glad for being here, I guess. Weird questions. Don't worry. All right. I'm good. Okay. So I guess firstly, I guess you can introduce yourself. All right. Um, hi, I'm Max. I'm uh, from Germany. I'm 14 years old and uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. I'm getting interviewed now. Yeah. You know <laughs> Dude. <laughs> it's more like a, it's more like a like mix between podcast and like interview, I feel like, but whatever. Those stupid questions I found. All right. I all actually right. I actually uh, interviewed someone from Germany, like another another person. Actually like before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're from another city though. I'm not sure which city you're from. I'm assuming it's from a different city or something like that. All right, yeah, right. pretty sure. Whatever, whatever, all right. <clears throat> what are the chances of? All right. First question. Do you think do you think we have free will, Max? A free will of what? Free will. Like we make uh, decisions freely. Of anything controlling a, controlling our decisions. Well, not in every situation, I guess. Like um when you you can decide what you do. But it's rather like just because you don't want to or you don't like that, it's different. You may, like you don't have the choice, you need to stay with your parents till you're 18, you're allowed to move out or you have to go to school or something like that. But you don't need to do, like you, you don't have a completely uh, free will. Like you're allowed to do things but not everything. Like there's laws, you know. You don't believe but... We could, st but if we were to disobey those laws or disobey our parents, would that wouldn't that be free will? Uh, I don't think so. What do you mean? I think, I mean, like if you disobey laws, I guess this um, whole world will be an anarchy and everything would mess up. I guess so. It's good to have those. But that would be free will, right? Uh -huh. You know what? Yeah, it is free will, but not for good, like for people, because if you're allowed to do everything, this can mess up everything. And um. All right. Do you remember what? Yeah. You, do you remember what you ate, like for breakfast, lunch, or dinner today? I do. Like the last thing I ate was at school, and since that is like almost two p.m. right now, uh, the last thing I ate were a little self-made breakfast made out of a croissant um some little apple slices and a little sandwich okay that's all i made would you say would you say you made those ingredients that, that would be called free will right you chose to make that you chose to yeah yes right I, yeah and then you know That's there right. there are some people who say that there is no free will at all even in that case because they say they they believe that there is a cause to every action. So, and they could they could have said you were kind of forced to make that breakfast. <laughs> like, well, did you have any other choice? Why did you choose to make uh sp that specific thing? Because like I I I don't like making. Uh, unbalanced food like if I eat if I eat something I mostly eat something like that and I like tuna yes so they were already and apples yeah yeah and so that's like what yeah. they would say like they would say basically um you know that those factors motivated you to make that breakfast and in reality you had no free will in making it yep well, you know, who knows? Uh, right? Who knows? Yeah. All right, I'm going to keep... Con All right, now I'm going to swap to something more personal. What is your gender? I'm a male. Male? All Full right. straight male. Straight male? Yep. Okay. Straight male. Okay. What is your... Okay, you said straight, so I'm assuming like woman? Yep. Okay. 
Do you know what your zodiac sign is? I'm a... Wait, I need to Google it because I don't know the English word for it. I do know it. Just let me... Let me... Hold on. Let me Google it real quick because I, I wasn't prepared for that. You could type just it out. Give me in, a second. You could type it out in uh, German, I assume. I could just translate Wait, that. let me... Let me... So my zodiac sign is scales. Scales? Scales. Scales? Like, S-C-A-L-E-S? -E yeah, like the like when you were uh, when you born in October, mm -hmm. like something like that. I'm not sure. So, if yeah, it's, um... I'm not sure if it's scales. But... <laughs> Could be something else. What, what I'm not it, sure, dude. What, what is it in German? You can say it in. Uh, you call it Vage. Like, wait, let me let me type it to you. It's W A A G E, like that. You can say it. With Vag. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. Okay. That's the zodiac sign in Germany. Wait, what is it like? Like, what animal? I'm assuming they're like animals and stuff. It's like a dragon. It's not an animal. It's a scale. Wait, what does it look like? Like everyone has some cool shit. It's it's a it's a pretty it's a basic scale. Like like hold up, let me let me I can show you what I mean when I say scale. Yeah, I'm very confused. I mean um so I'm thinking of like scale. Like this Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it is a scale. Like on a it is a or like a scale as in music stuff. Look, when People, when people ask me my zodiac sign, right, mm -hmm. and I tell them I'm a, I'm a scale, and mostly people don't understand that yeah. because it's kind of confusing. Yeah. Because they're mostly oh, animals. I say, say when I say scale, no, no scale. When I say scale, I mean this. This is this is my zodiac sign. A, a scale. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why not? Why not? I don't do you, know. Do you believe in zodiac signs? You consider them you consider them something? No, not really. Uh, no. Okay. Not really, no. Okay. I mean saying to me that I'm a scale kinda hurts though. I don't even know what that means. I've never heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> like like just imagine like there are so many cool things and you can just be a scale. Is, you, it's kinda, is this kinda a zodiac hurt, sign okay. you made up? <laughs> okay. No, no, I'm not kidding. This is the zodiac sign. This is a, This is my zodiac. Yeah, I'm must serious. Must be a, not a rare one. Is it only? Is it like a an actual thing? Like, it's not like something yeah. specific to Germany, right? No, right. No, just Google zodiac sign scales, and there you go. Or maybe it's just a scale. Of Your scale. Where? No, no, no. They even. Even had a scale picture. It is a okay. scale. Okay, okay, I believe you because I know there are crabs and and people and and the dragon. No, it was like a crab and like there's some other stuff. I don't remember the scale, but yeah. Cool. All right, all right. I'm swapping to something more abstract. Do you think? Mm -hmm. Do you think we are living in a simulation, Max? Actually, not really, because when you think about the the whole story that happened, I don't know why people think it's we live in a simulation. Like, it's a complicated thing, but I don't think so. No. Why do you say that? Because there, because look, there isn't like there. You can't break a simulation, and if there is a simulation, like who's observing us, humans or what? Aren't they in the simulation too? Maybe it's like. I don't know, people from outer space, but I don't think that that this is kind of true. So maybe there there is life out out, out like um besides Earth, but I don't think that they will simulate us. You don't think they would do like, that? No. I mean, yeah, it's a Rick and Morty thing, I know, but they use that just for observation and it was just there. Their own, their own word was simulated, not to people. So it was kind of because you could like easily slap yourself and nothing happens. You just feel pain and you can touch everything and everything's like normal, not simulated. I don't think we live in a simulation. 
Do you trust your senses? You do you trust that you feel pain and that's just not a simulated feeling? Yeah, it's like no, I mean this is a kind of stupid example, but I don't think that like if if some things are simulated, why why are they realistic then, you know? Why could They're you like build games. them or make them? They're realistic games. Yeah. Who could say yeah. we are not in a in a game? Who can say This is not? kind of Kind of true, but this is kind of, I don't know, this is a whole fucked up thing. You can't say if that's true or not. Even though, uh, you could say, uh, everything is simulated, but I don't think it is. So it's like my, my own opinion, opinion. but I don't know what people are thinking. Yeah, okay. personal opinion, there you go. Okay, because, uh, I read somewhere, like, there's no evidence to really prove that we aren't in one. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, this is kind of kind of kind of weird. All right, cool. All right, another funky question. Do you think God exists? Mm -hmm. If I do think that God exists, actually, I don't because like I I think that people made up this thing, and because something like randomly happened, and they they say that that it was like a God doing this. This is kind of weird. And even though there, if there was a god, why are there so many then? Because like the, the like there are like the Jewish gods. There are in 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 the Muslim there are god. There's one specific god. Then you have here, you have different different gods. Like this is fucked up. Why shouldn't there be one god watching over everyone? You see. So actually, I don't think so. To what be ab honest. What about like the the one God, the the Abrahamic God, like one God watching over us? You don't think so? You don't think he exists or they? Like if there wasn't if there wasn't any different religion religion maybe. Maybe this could be like this, but like even the this this the the evolution of the world is like different and if there is a god why on earth and why on not on different places? You know, they could like be on Mars or on Jupiter, watching there and create something. But he didn't. He went to Earth because I don't know why not. You see. Do you consider yourself an atheist? No, I'm not an atheist. I like different time. No, because I am not like hating or just thinking. But I do think that. But. It's not like I'm, you could say I'm like out of those religions, things. So I'm like out of those, any of those. Okay, here's a personal question. Are your parents non-religious? My mom is and my dad too. But since my dad is like a different culture, he's like because he came from Turkey. Mm. They had like a different religion, but I don't think he's like, he's like so hard in that. And my mom, not too much, too. Is your mom Christian? Yes. Okay, you know what type? Like the, the, not even the list, the, the other one. How do you call that? Um, I need to, I, I should leave my, my tab open so I can always Google what I mean. Do you, like, so Roman, my mom, Roman Catholic or Orthodox or something? Uh, like? I think Roman Catholic, yeah. No, or Protestant. No, so she's like the Roman Catholic. Okay. And your dad? Do you know what religion uh, he... Uh, I think my dad is like from the... Has like kind of... I don't know if it's like... it If he is in, in Muslim uh, religion. I don't think so. I'm not sure. I don't want to be too, too secure saying that. But I don't think he's like in, in into that now. Okay. All right. Another wacky question. Do you believe in the afterlife, Max? Well, there isn't any proof for the afterlife because everyone that dies just disappears. You can say disappear. Like the body stays, but like they don't have a. I always thought how it would be living after life. Most of all, I just thought about like it's black and nothing happens ever again, and you don't feel any sense. But it's hard to tell how to feel this because you never did, you know. And uh, so I don't think there's afterlife. Do you think it's just no. dark, 
darkness. Yeah, something like that, like pure darkness, nothing else. You, you can't even see, you like just disappear. It's like you fell asleep and never wake up, something like that, you know? Okay. Are you terrified of what comes after life? Well, actually, kind of. But when you think about it, you could live, if you live like healthy, you could live a long life. And I mean, really long. I mean, like, I'm not that old, so I can, I can, like, if I don't make any dumb shit and I don't mess up my, my healthy, my healthiness, I'm pretty sure I could live long enough and forget about dying. Okay. You know, there was someone, some philosopher was like how you shouldn't be afraid of death because when you die, you can't be afraid of death because everything, all your senses vanish because your brain just shuts off, right? So you yeah, can't be yeah, afraid. Yeah, right. So you can't be afraid. You can't feel anything. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you just like go, you just go like off and there you go. Yeah, you can't feel, you can't be happy or sad or angry or mad or... Yeah, right, afraid. exactly. So you mess up, you just like, you just, you, you're gone. You're like, and I don't know, then you die, maybe your family's sad. It depends, but like... You would never know. Um, Yeah, yeah, right. You, first of all, you never know. Maybe, no, yes, maybe if you're in hospital and you, they're crying, but Unless, just something. So I assume you don't um, believe in ghosts? No, I like actually I when I watch something scary like horror videos or something, I do, I do am afraid of darkness to be honest, well, because uh... it's something I don't like because I hate darkness because you could just like like anything could I know monsters aren't real mm -hmm. but maybe some paradox thing or strange activities like mutated things or like creepy as this um. This this evolved like dysfunction working body of a of a human walking towards you would be kind of well, kind of horrifying. That's, that is horrifying, but you do know that doesn't exist. But yet, yeah, you cling, but you, you do. You somehow you still do. You yeah, like every time I'm in darkness, I go downstairs maybe to get some water or something, and there's pure darkness because I don't want to wake up my family. I just rush upstairs as fast as I can. Trying not to hit anything or being too loud. Well, like, because if you watch into pure darkness, you're very scared that if you turn around, something will happen. And this is this is a terrifying feeling because I don't like going out of my room. Well, I used to be afraid of the dark. Like, when I was younger. Like, I would be... Same thing with you. Like, I, I would be afraid to go into, like, the bathroom when it was dark. So mm. I wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't be able to enter. I always have my like my dad or something come by and watch me, and then I go in and open the light up. Like, I was terrified of it. Same thing. Like what is? I was terrified of what was hiding in the dark. Like, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You know. Yeah. You're not scared of the darkness itself. You you're scared of what's inside. And afraid That's of what true. it might do to you. <laughs> That's what I assume. Like some, so yeah. I so I watched it. Yeah. So there's like let's plays of video games. You know, maybe welcome to the game too. And it's like it's like kind of realistic. It, it isn't impossible to this to happen. Like you could be kidnapped or being slept over. So one time I went outside. It was dark, and I always had this feeling that someone was watching me. And nobody was there. I was like in pure, terrified, scared, uh, mood. I just ran home as fast as I could. This was horrifying. Your, your brain starts to do stuff in the dark, I guess. It starts to make up stuff. You know, you start seeing things. Yeah. Or you start hearing things, or you, you get a feeling of something. God. It's watching yeah. or behind you. That's not cool at all. I think someone like uh, I think it was Vsauce because I interviewed someone before and uh, yesterday and they were talking about how uh, Vsauce broke down like a lot of fears and the most common fear that everyone has is drowning a fear of drowning. You know? I couldn't imagine drowning. It's it could be a common fear, but 
I wouldn't know. This is not really a good fear. Like, I could... Deep, nah. Not really, no. And then Vsauce further broke it down and said everything stems from... Everything is also, like, biological. And also how everything stems from a fear of dying. And so you just want to preserve your life. Like you get... Yeah, like, you, you're afraid of something because you don't know what will... Because you, you're afraid to die. That's, like, the thing. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Do you... Alright, All right, another one. Do you believe in communism, Max? Communism? Mm hmm So... I never, like, could could have um, experienced, experienced communism myself. Like, um... There are a lot of... Like, communism became very popular because... Because of memes. Did it? And <laughs> did it? Was it? Yeah, it did. It, you sure? It, it actually did. You yeah, sure? like, are, are look, we, look. Are we talking about the internet or are we talking about, like, the, the before? Like, yeah, Russia? we're talking. Are you, no, are you saying? Are like, you, <laughs> no, look, like, imagine, like, communism, nobody was talking about it. But then, like, memes came out about, I don't know, stealing things or, like, I don't know, in a basic shooter, you just say you steal a kill and they say our kill. And that's how, like, communism went going on, being popular again. Mean, and uh, now there's a lot of a lot of, uh, of teenagers always making communism. And they think it's funny, but it isn't anymore. And, yeah. What about, like, the actual thing itself, communism? Do you like the idea of it? So, it is kind of cool because nobody has a disadvantage. Actually, because it's like it's like share. There isn't any any like people being more worth than other people. Yeah, maybe maybe Joseph Stalin, but that's something else. And like, if people like if if you were like in a in a city and communism would be ruling of over this city, this could be like kind of cool because you imagine that poor people wouldn't be poor and rich people aren't rich so they don't think they're better than poor people and they both like on the same line and it is kind of a cool idea but like you don't have to share everything i guess but it isn't communism then because i don't want to share my phone you know if it is some something like that well no no it's not you don't have to share everything like it's i think all property it's... you have to share all property becomes a public property, I think. Property is one of like, the main I things. Think your phone is not your phone is yours. Like you don't have to share that with people. Like, <laughs> like suddenly you have to share like your bathroom. Nah, I think all property though you're gonna have to share. Like yeah, like your um, your your salary and um, like a loan and your um, most of all the food, something like that, I guess. I'm not sure. Though. Also, the government becomes, I think, a lot powerful. So, how do you feel about that? The state becomes like a bit more powerful, I think, in the communist society, kinda. Well, this could be good because if society is like not society, if um, if they could be strong, like people wouldn't break down, like they could like um, like the government would actually make a big profit from that because. Maybe they have to share in the communism with with um, with the with the people too, with the military and some shit. And this could be a good advantage for them to get stronger and help support, defend their own state and country. Okay. Just what, so you, um, sorry, I might be saying a ton of BS about communism because I don't know much about it. So please fact check what I say. All right. So I guess you, so you prefer a strong government over like a, a weak one. Yeah. If they don't do any dumb things, yeah. Yeah, because there's a fear that a strong government could become like a tyranny, and start oh taking away rights and stuff. And ruling over. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Like this could this could happen. Um, but this is like not, not a, a, this could happen, but this isn't communism there. It's like more a, 
destroying and ruling again over this. And if this day would be very strong, then you should get rid of that because this could then mess up everything and then they could like even maybe attack their own state, like their own folks. If they're too if they want too much. Okay. Do you like democracy? Yeah, I do. Why? Democracy is always good because there isn't any force to do. Like, you don't need to to do something. People can't, like, uh, force you. And since the democracy is more like the people can vote and it's equal, it's equality, it's kind of good. Like, um, yeah, there's... There is someone ruling over them, kind of, but like most of all the people can decide. Like at our school, we have like one break time in the middle of our thing. So the students voted for a second one, even though it's trash, but like it's not the main thing. We're talking about the democracy. Like it's kind of democracy there. You have that in class and every everything's most of all in a lot of countries a democracy like it's sad that it's not everywhere but in most of them okay there are different types of democracy i'm sure the one that uh, in school that you guys have is kind of not really a true democracy where everyone's like voting like all everyone has equal say because the teachers still have the final say right i assume yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah okay cool do you have any morals or perhaps ethics morals or ethics oh let me i'm i'm not pretty sure what that means what they said says okay it's fine it's how fine. would you no no wait 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 oh no, um, if you don't if you're not sure you don't have to answer no i want to know what that means so i can like translations can morals. mess up stuff because i don't english to german i don't know uh hang on like I could say if it's something I do know, like a moral, like my my mood right now, you mean something like that? Nah, I don't mean that. Oh well, I, I don't know then. I'm sorry. I guess something that like guides uh that guides your view of like bad and good and bad. I think that's the oh. Best yeah, well most of them is like the things um important people in your life tell you or teach you to do like if um if your parents tell you that being mean is, for example you always will remind remember this and use it in the rest of your life and yeah we had that not long ago in biology class because of, of something like that because of reactions this was complicated all right I don't want to talk too much about school now because we have a weekend. Okay. So, okay, I won't ask you about school then. But you can. I mean, I don't want to, like, go every time I want to talk about school when it isn't the theme, you know? Oh, okay, it's fine. You can just talk about whatever. If, like, if you okay. answer a question, like, it's fine. How would you describe yourself All in right. three words? This can be English or German. How would you... Um, All right. Well, I don't actually have a own thing. Like we had that as a uh, as a subject. Most of the people just said that I'm French. Like they make this like a basic thing for me being known as a French. I okay, I guess you could. You mean three words in a sentence, or like three different three things? different words, or it could be a sentence All right. like. It could be. It could also. It doesn't have to be a sentence. It could be three words, three separate words. Yeah. So I don't know what I'm like. I know I'm known for being weird, but in a good way, something like that. Um, weird in a good then way. Then the basic thing. <laughs> no, yeah, like weird words. in a good way. Like, I'm no, I'm no. I mean, I mean, like the thing. Like they call me weird, but not in a bad way. Like weird, quirky. like <laughs> quirky. <some> creep, <laughs> quirky. Like some. <laughs> Like some creeps, I mean, like like weird, but in the sarcasm and the humor, in the in the comedy way, weird, you know. You are you are weird. Comedy way, you're I, a weird, but comedy way. 
You're a weird yeah, like like people call me weird because like most of all when a boy just posts like a freaking I don't know like a like, yeah, just kind of weird. Oh, okay, like just memes, like just whatever. Yeah, memes like stupidest way, something like that, but not racist. So how do you describe uh, yourself? Really? So I would say a French person, a weird but good way person, and a internet addicted piece of shit. Uh, yeah, I really like going to my PC and do something. I really like the internet. Alright, that was more than three so, words, but... <laughs> let's just say internet addicted person. There you go. Good enough. Three words. All right, one. What, what would you do in an apocalypse, Max? In an apocalypse. Yeah, Max. How what would you do? Do I have do I have a um a shelter? Alright, I'm gonna give I'm gonna create the premise. Alright. All right. You see on the news zombie mm -hmm. outbreak. Specifically yeah. in Germany. Okay. Alright. You're okay, you're with your parents. Mm -hmm. But you're no, you're at you're no, 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 okay, so your parents have been turned into zombies. Aww. <laughs> All right, and, uh, and uh, everyone in Germany, every, mostly everyone in Germany has been turned into a zombie. Okay, fuck. Turned into zombies. There's only a couple of people in Germany left. Whole whole okay. country's been locked. How do you, what do you do? I would, uh, going underneath, just get a freaking shovel and then dig. Interesting. Wait, is it predicted, or is it, or am I already in the middle of the thing? You're in the, you're in the middle of the thing. Fuck. Okay. So I would like, if I would say, I would say like I could um get something. I don't know, like prepare. But now since I am in the middle of the thing, I would maybe try to to find the other survivors, team up with them, and we we make like our own thing. So we have like our own resistance. Mm, yeah. And then we could maybe try to get out of Germany, but I because I don't think that you can beat the whole zombie apocalypse alone with a couple of people. And um, I would maybe try go to the German military and get some some resources there because I'm pretty sure they're ready for something like that. And even though they have like um, they have they they have a uh, like um, nu nuclear bombs from America stored in Germany. I would take those and just rotten out Germany if I could, but I'm too stupid for that. So this isn't a, a good option. All right. What about um? it's predicted? Like you see in the news, outbreak in Germany nearby. Uh, your parents are with you. I they would, haven't been turned yet. It's just started. What would you, what would you and your I would probably do? already begin to prepare myself buy everything empty, maybe try to get a shelter, somewhere to hide, or I would already like get people to prepare for that. To be so the government could could equip people with defense like weapons or some shit. And then try to survive and like stick together and not try to get bitten. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. What embarrassed you the most, and/or what's been your most embarrassing moment? Okay, this is I have a lot of those. Like really, a lot. Okay, should I just go on to something? So, uh, one thing. I have a weird friend who always, like, he's addicted to animes, and he sends me some weird shit about those. So I needed to make an alarm because of the, it was not long ago. We need to make some COVID tests and I need to do an, like an, a timer of 15 minutes. And so I, I wanted to, to take a, an alarm sound and I accidentally pressed on a sound file a friend of me sent. And it was a very uncomfortable thing to happen because everyone just looked at me like I'm a freaking weirdo or some shit. I don't know. Oh, uh, was yeah. Was it like a, like a 
anime girl sound or something. Yeah, yep, yep, exactly. Like, you know what I mean when okay, I say that. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, it's fine. And, and you just hear, like, you, they just turn around and the whole thing you hear is always, wait, wait, hang on, let me just, uh, right, so you just chill. And then out of nothing, you just hear, what? you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This was, this was embarrassing. I needed to go out. Out. Oh my god! The teacher sent me out of class for that. I said it, it wasn't extra, but he doesn't care. Yeah, this was messed up. All right. What, Very would, be, what would be like a perfect day, like a best day for you? A perfect day. Uh, school day or weekend? Any day. A perfect day. Any Let's day. All right. Let's just say summer holiday. They began not long ago. You're on the way home because it's one of the best feelings. Next day you wake up knowing you have six weeks of free will. Um, you wake up, it's early. The sun just got up. You go outside and take some, you inhale some fresh air. Maybe you go downstairs. Your family already made breakfast and you, you go downstairs and eat my f in your favorite meal. In that case, I don't know, some basic some basic things. Then you go outside or you prepare to go outside. Well, like what I like to do, I have a friend living next city. Not, not wide, like I just need to go a little bit. I would like just pack some stuff and then go over there. And then just chill out there and then we eat somewhere and we go home. And evening, sun's going down. We eat like uh, dinner. I go upstairs, I don't know, get something comfortable or shower, and then just chill on my PC or PS4 playing some games with friends. This would be awesome. And really awesome day. Alright. Yeah. This is a personal question. How would you like to be comforted when you're sad or upset? I like to be comforted, okay. This is kind of interesting. Um, so if I am sad or like not in a good mood, let me guess like something like that, right? Um, I would want my best friend just to come over and try to cheer me up a bit by doing some dumb stuff. I would feel better, I'm pretty sure. I would just, I don't know, something like that, I guess. All right. Next one. What would you do if you were the Prime Minister of Germany? Ooh, this is a good question. No, First of all... Hypothetical question. Let's say you, let's say you say, were. Let's say you were. What, happened, what do you do? What okay, I would, I would probably, first of all, get rid of, of um, any legal scam. Why that like, specifically? Because I don't like those. Those aren't cool. Okay. Then I would maybe make a kind of communism, like the rich people need to share. Wait, what? You make a, a can of communism? What? A, a kind of communism. You may just make Germany Some... communist? You just say it is yes. now a communist country now. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you would do that? We're just through sharing now. Yeah, you say all rich people. What if they don't listen? What if they say, well, we're going to get out of this country? Are you going to well, kill I'm going them? To... Yeah, yeah, I'm going to shoot those people. Gonna, Just hang them somewhere. No, you're I don't know. Hang them? What the? <laughs> Just tie them up on a wooden thing and then get speared up like Jesus. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, that... I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Okay. But if I would do a communism, I would probably send to people who don't want to join it, not forcing them. But they should just live their own life and doesn't act like dickheads because if if they if they do, I would really hang them or tie them up and then crucify them. I don't know. Let's see. What a brutal country. What is <laughs> it's worse than any Far Cry game. Would you rename the country? No, I like Germany. Maybe. Um... I would I would make a law if someone makes a fun of Germany not being Ger well this person is not German and and they make a joke about Germany like in 1939 in the in the German World War 2 
I would instantly let them pass out and let them like tie up their their legs and arms, maybe put some concrete in them and then throw them in a freaking ocean. Because this isn't cool. No, you don't I don't like, like you, this. You don't like Nazi Germany. No, I don't no, I don't like people like making always fun like how do you call that? They Nazi always jokes. Yeah, no, they do like stereotype things, like always saying saying like I don't know, British are tea addicted or um Germans are Nazis or oh. French people like you know what's even worse? Like people could like if you were in the time you were a German soldier, like you didn't have the, the choice to do that, first of all. And second of all, then you're gonna you're going to, to be hated everywhere because you were in the war. But but it wasn't your fault because you needed to do that. You it, you didn't have a free will doing this. And like you know, so it's not your fault being hated. That's not cool. Not at all. No. And I would probably get rid of public nudity. Because this I think is... that's already that's probably already a law. I feel like I think that's illegal in a lot of in the United States. There, are I mean, like not complete nudity. I mean, like people who walk shirtless. You don't like that? No, I don't like this. Why is it, the, some... why is it the government's business to care about people walking shirtless? <laughs> because, because this is a kind of uncomfortable thing. Like, just imagine they're like bodybuilders walking up there with their shirtless, I mean, I mean, like, like... Topless, and then there are like people like. They look like, I don't know, like a freaking plank, completely slim. And they just like feel bad because they, everyone walks their bodybuilder types. And like, I don't care if the other government doesn't care. I do. Okay. What would be the penalty for breaking that law? <laughs> Dress walking around shirt. What about women? Women can't even um, do that. This would only be for men then. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Like, yeah, for women, like not wearing sports bra in public. In public. <laughs> <laughs> That's, there you go. What would be the penalty? Death? Is that what you would do? Uh, no, this is too harmless. No, I'm just I wouldn't like kill them, but they would get like it's like a police thing. They just get a kind of warning. Slap on and the if wrist. They, <laughs> and if they if they if they do that ever again, they get um executed. No. I would warn it like death free warnings and at the and at every warning you need to pay a little thing that goes a little bit to everyone because communism and then uh it gets like always more and if they break the third thing again they would probably I would probably glue clothes on them so they can't do that again. Glue and clothes on them? <laughs> yeah. Yo, what if the glue drives though? What are you what are you gluing them with? Super glue? I'm going to use I'm going to spear it through like, you know, just like they have their arms and then you just th throw a spear through it so it's pinned on their body so they don't have a choice. Jeez. Okay. But what like wait, so what about at night? Does the government care about people who like take off their clothes at night to sleep? Oh, they're going to to die <laughs> because what? this is not good <laughs> everyone sleeps with their clothes on their day clothes you can't switch what about going to the shower everyone's well, you're allowed no i mean you're allowed to do that like at your okay okay Just you're not, you're not allowed not in public. yeah not in public okay. yeah because this is disgusting disgusting okay Very all right all right so yeah. okay so like this is your first day as president and you have to make a, a prime <laughs> minister you have to make a speech to everyone in germany you step onto the stage what do you say president prime minister max uh, good day folks my name is max um i guess i'm your new president now please don't wear t-shirts in public thank you um i would change the law we live communism now everyone who doesn't like it fuck you uh, <laughs> uh, uh, the government is now i don't know a part of Communism. Uh, if the if Germany goes down, it isn't my fault. It's yours because you're stupid at living. Uh, and yeah, that's all I gotta say. No, people start booing you. What? What? Do you, how do you react? I would kill them.
Okay. No, I wouldn't. I would just accept it and say, okay, well, fuck you then. <laughs> then go to then go to Turkey or I don't know. Okay, jeez. All right. What would you do if everyone in the world vanished except for you? I would kill myself. For real? I would probably because living alone, first of all, sucks. Second of all, um, like net, nothing is running. You can't do anything. You can't like go on Google, open a PC. There is no electricity. You only have food. Not even a phone working. Like most, like most for most of the applications, and it would be fucking not good. But you would be free, wouldn't you? Yeah, but what what does it bring to you being free when you can't do anything? Yeah, you can eat food. You can take off all your clothes. There's no law. I don't want to walk naked. That's disgusting. But there's no one to watch you walk naked, though. I still How is that disgusting? How is that disgusting? But, like, you live completely alone. You can't do anything. You walk around and being empty and paranoid. Dude, there's no one around. All right, all right. What is the color of success, Max? The color of success? Yes. Not the white flag. Not a white flag? Yep, you know why? Because that means that I, have, I give Since up. my mom's French... People always make fun of me, and they say, like, white is my color. It's what, what describes France. I just say, fuck you. Um, I would say the color of, vic of, like, of success is mm -hmm. not red, because red is, like, more like a brutal, a brutal win. Um, uh, and, and I could say that, like, most of all, a good color could be green. Because green is luck based and what makes cool. green luck based? Because like of the most of the Irish the, the, the lucky signs, you know those like the, the leaves or um like I like the color anyways, like at all. It's a cool color. Okay. And it's cool. Do you like pineapple and pizza, Max? No. Why? Because I don't think it fits. I don't. I like pineapple. I like pizza, but I I tasted that. I just don't like it. I just it isn't something that fits together. You know, they mm, could yeah. like why fruit? They could like change that with anything, but like you know, pineapple or fruits or something like that could mess up the whole pizza. They could like put something on like I don't know, some different type of things but not pineapple why do you what, what's your favorite type of pizza my favorite pizza mm -hmm. um my favorite pizza i have a um uh, one of my favorites are like some self-made pizza my uh, most of all the the basic uh, margarita because i don't like eating pizza with most of stuff maybe with some with some corn on it, I don't know. Corn? Like, like, um, how do you call them? The yellow things. Uh, Mozzarella? Uh, no, 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 not, not your cheese. Wait, hang on. Uh, Pizza with the yellow things. Peppers? With, uh, like, uh, more? No way. Like, it's, um, uh wait 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 I can show you. I'm t talking about that thing. Wait, hang on. All right, I got it. Like I mean um, I mean like corn like. Yeah. Oh no wait, wrong person. There you go. I'm like, like something like that. Yeah. You you like corn on pizza? Yeah, but not not much. Like just a little bit. Okay, I never heard of that before. Okay, cool. What do you think about vegetarians? They're cool. If they they're cool, but what I don't like about like vegans or uh, like um, people people who are like um, you know people they think then 
that there's someone better than people who eat, who eat like me who eats like meat and something like that you know because if they think that they're better just because they don't eat meat doesn't mean they're like, like better because it's not true this is fact you think all of them you think all vegans or vegetarians think of themselves as better or do you think just some no no most of the people just don't like meat or because how it's how it's made like they it doesn't affect about that because they're like um vegetarians or vegan people who do that because of um yeah just because of meat and then they most of all they think that they are better than other people but not all of them there are a lot but not all of them okay are you a are you a vegetarian I tried this, but it did mess up because after two weeks it was too much for me, and then I I like I I, t I took a big bite of a steak and it was just like pure heaven for me. Okay, you like steak? Mhm. Mm what's what's your favorite? What's the type? Is it there's like a rare? Uh oh, you mean something like that? Yeah, uh, medium. Steak? Medium I, like, I like medium, medium, medium rare. rare. What type yeah. of steak? Rump steak. Rub steak? Rump steak. R U M S T E A K. Rum? Like rum? Rump. Like R U M P. Rump steak. Okay. Is that like a restaurant that's nearby for you? Uh, no, there isn't like any restaurants nearby at my place. But if I if like there's one restaurant I love eating at, it's a Turkish thing, and they do make rump steak. So. What is uh, what is it like? It what, does, what does a rump steak look like? It's like a wait. It looks like um, like a pretty normal steak, I guess. Like nothing special about it. It's just made different, I think. I'm not sure. Wait, let me. What does it taste like I... when you bite into it? What does it taste like? I love the the feeling, like this this juicy, when you bite into that, like it just it just feels good, like eating that, you know, just give me this. I like the I like just like the normal taste of the steak, and um, my favorite type of of cooking the meat is grilled, and it looks like that because it's. It, look at it. It looks beautiful. Okay. This is something like I like eating in the evening with some, I don't know, some potatoes or something like that. This would this would fit perfectly for a good meal. Most of all. Okay. I don't, uh, okay, sure. I don't really like, like steak. Well, personally, because I have braces, so like it's hard to bite them, but... It's hard to bite because yeah. the meat's hard. Because you obviously, you probably use fork and knife, right? Cut it off a piece yeah. and eat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Wait, you got braces? Yeah. Yo, I'm getting those too soon. It's going to be so bad. Yeah, yeah I know. That's why food. I love eating steak now. I want to expect profit the, of the food. Expect before, the food, bro. Expect before, the you, before you forced to eat soup. That's only for a little bit because your teeth got to get used to it, right? Yeah, your teeth gotta get used yeah. to the pain, and then it will sell for after a bit. You'll be able to eat stuff, but they probably don't recommend you eating steak because it's hard and the braces might pop off and stuff. Yeah, 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 and it could like um, maybe it could like st be stuck in your thing then. Yeah, that's even so. worse. All right, cool. Do you wear glasses? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, are you planning on having children anytime in the future? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I will. Yeah. Are you joking? No. You think you'll have kids? Maybe I don't know. Let's see if I'm if I won't be lonely till then. But you... if I if I'm not, then I would like to have kids. Yeah. You want kids? Yeah. Well, why? Well, because like having kids is like first of all you can like go on with your family generation. You have someone that you can care about, and 
it's something cool, I guess, because you can teach them everything your parents or people you like uh, taught you. And if I would have a son one day, I would love to play with him games. Not gonna cap. I would just say like, go online with him and play the whole night together. Because a lot of people don't want kids because they hate them. They're annoying and and weird. Yeah, because it's like most of all they're annoying for them, but not for the parents maybe. And having kids like with when they're like thirteen or something, this would be cool. You'd want to have a kid now to raise someone. But I'm I'm fourteen. I don't want. I'm not sure kids now. Okay. But do you have a, sure, do you already have a name ready? <laughs> no, not really. Actually, no. Okay. Okay. I'll hook you. I, I'll hook hook you up if I find one. I'll get you then. Where do you see yourself in five years? I assume you will be nineteen. Nineteen. Yep. Where Where do you see? Let me see. So maybe doing a um studying Mm -hmm. because I want to I want to do I want to learn rights and um. Want to learn what? The the rights like being um not being a lawyer but a uh, how do you call that um. The people who defend like uh, other people's criminal lawyer. No, wait. Uh... Attorney. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let me, let me just. Um, I mean, like, yeah, being a lawyer. Yeah, right. Was that just being a lawyer? Because that would be cool. Why do you think it's cool? Like you, first of all, it's like you can learn uh, many things about that. You get a good salary. Um, people will like you, pretty sure, if you're good at this job, if you don't suck at it. But like the problem is, it's like um, kind of an office job. And if you want to, to be a lawyer, you need to to do a lot of paper stuff, you know? And it's kind of, it's the one thing I don't like. But you feel like in the end, the payoff will be worth it? Yep. Okay. Who do you like? What do you want to do? Like, what would be like a like a like a thing you would want to do as a lawyer? Like, what, like defend people? Um, yeah, like my basic rights. Not something special. Maybe family things about family rights or something like that. Okay. Let's see until then. You'll see. You're not sure yet. No. Okay. We'll just find out soon then, yeah. Okay. Do you want a tattoo? No, I don't like tattoos. It's not my thing. Okay. What is your favorite sport? Uh, my favorite sport is tennis because I play that. You played physically? Yep. Okay. Are you good at tennis? Kind of. I'm not sure if I am for my skills, but um, let's say in my age, I would be like a, my teacher called me a 7 out of 10. Pretty good. Something. Yeah, it's kind of cool. How long He's have you cool. been playing? I like, uh, since I'm a kid, since I'm, I guess, 10. No, not 10, since I'm 9. I play tennis. You've been playing for a while, five years, man. Do you know any like tricks mm-hmm. and stuff? Like slice, you know how to slice the ball or add spin to it? Well, I know how to like um, how to how to do a different art of play. If someone like, for example, if someone always play high balls, you should just try to to smash them as soon as possible on the other field, so you can get you can get easy points or something like that because. People will expect something different from you, and if you're lucky, you had a good shot, and then yeah. Any other tricks? Like, what about uh, how's your serves? Do you serve? Yeah, I do. Okay. Do you, yeah, I do. Are you, do, you, do you add spin to your serves? Do your balls like? Can you make your balls like drop lower, or can you do? Like, yeah. So like, them? I have like two different two different types of of serving. So do a service. 
So like first of all, there's one you just hit the bar, the the ball hardly, um, and try to to make a good to, to try to make a good hit. Neither it works or it's fucked up. Um, but it's like it has a low chance of it working. And then there's another one we call the frying pan. It's like you hit it, so you have a, a higher chance of it to go to to the other field. You just hit it like softly, not that hard, but just from upstairs. A little soft, you know, and that's yeah, like my two services. Why do you call it? What do they call the frying pan? Because um, in tennis, it's like that. If you hold your um, your your racket, you hold like normally. You could say you can hold it like a frying pan. It's a frying pan because you just you just hold it like a frying pan, uh, slapping it from up there. And it isn't like compared to anything else. And a lot of people call it the frying pin. That's why. Okay, cool. Are you, have you played in like tournaments? Uh, yeah, I did. I, I went last place and then I, I did a lot of training for to get better. And then I got second place. That's pretty good. How many people were in yeah. the tournament? Like, do you win like a trophy or something? Uh, They were like, no, it was just like a cool. Lot tournament. There were like I don't know four different opponents. No five. Five different opponents, and um, I won in the first one. I won nothing special, just some trash. And then in the second one, you get a, I got FIFA, like an old one, but I got FIFA. And I don't play it. Did you got like a video game? Yep, I got a video game. FIFA. <laughs> Oh, FIFA, oh. FIFA, I don't know, 19. Oh, shoot, outdated. <laughs> yeah. Sure. And some sweets and something like that. So okay. That was kind of cool. Uh, all right. Are you on, does your school have a tennis team? No. I wish they had, but they only have a football team. Oh, like like uh, soccer? football, like. Soccer? Yeah, 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 soccer. Kickball, right. okay, okay. You like soccer? No, it's not my type of court. Okay. Do you watch tennis? Actually, I do. Not much, but just a bit. Maybe to watch some some updates, like the newest things, but not really. I prefer playing myself. Okay. Do you watch any sports? Uh, I do watch... I do watch... Um, like neither I watch a little bit of basketball or mm. volleyball because I want to learn that. Oh, why do you want to learn volleyball? Because it's my current sports subject and I suck at it. Oh. And only girls are good at it and want to, to get better so I, so they don't hate me. <laughs> they hate you for not for being bad. Yeah, no, I'm not stupid. kidding. They're worse. That's stupid. They're worse than yeah, they're worse than every video game player because when you mess something up, every goal is mad at even in the opponent team. They just scream at you because you messed up the shot, and this is so embarrassing and like gives you a bad feeling. So I'm trying to learn it in private with another friend who's sick of that too. Yeah. Jeez. Okay. All right. Do you have a favorite dish or restaurant? Well, you already. Ate, yeah. uh, I do have one. Mm -hmm. It's um. It was. It it is kind of new. Uh, not that long from my place. For the ride. Well, it's a. It's a. Like I said, it's a Turkish thing. But I love eating there. It's a uh, lent soup. Lent lentil and... soup. Lentil soup, yeah, and with some neither some, I don't know, yeah, right, and um, some basic dishes, something like that, with a rum steak in the evening. You have a favorite uh, dish? Well, I know rum steak, obviously. Any other dishes that you like? You like to like from um, there? Order? Yeah, you like to order. Oh, you, oh, you like to, yeah, like the soup, and they had a thing called I don't know what it's called. But it's like it's like a a rice, you could say mountain, like a little tiny mountain, uh, with some um, self-made uh, meat. Uh, how do you call it? It's like meat in form of a 
a long thing and then you you put a metal thing in the middle so it's like so it stays there it's very tasty okay taste does it taste as good as steak nah i prefer the steak it's got its own flavor yeah it's kind of like they use a lot of spices for that but oh. it's it tastes like dry kind of you know? like the steak is juicy okay Oh, you said you like medium rare steak. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, okay. Do you have a favorite dish just in general? Like favorite food in general? In general. Other, other than steak. Other than steak. Favorite food. Self-made pizza. Self-made pizza from like a restaurant or you made them at home? Self-made. Yeah, self-made at home. Like everything. From from the, the, the flour, yeah. the, the crust. And... Yeah, yeah. The, exactly you made everything. wait you made the tomato sauce and the cheese no not that but like i do like i use my own things i do the, the thing myself the beginning the the bread i use like okay I use I, I buy tomato sauce and cheese and some things but i do it like myself you know okay you like and at the end it's kind of good tasty all right do you make it yourself do you know how to cook yep yep what can you make I can make some basic things. I can do pizza. I can um I can bake cake. By yourself? Yep. What type of cakes? It's chocolate cake, lemon cake. Um I like doing like muffins. I know it's that's not a type of cake, but it's like the same thing but just in different form. That's pretty and cool. I like I like doing like I did one time for a friend's birthday. I made a um, a two-floor steak, uh, cake, and it was kind of hard because it had like two floors going with all around cream and chocolate and everything. It was so hard. I oh, made, I made like whole by yourself a, with, or with your yeah, parents. Yep. No, my sister helped me a bit, oh. just a bit. Wow, that's, that's impressive. I, <laughs> yeah, the the ending was good, but it's, yeah, it was kind of hard to make. Okay. Do Even you follow like recipes? It. Like you've memorized the recipes? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Or I notice them if I don't remember. Okay. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. All right. Like, do you bake okay. when you're stressed or do you bake when you're free time? Like if you're bored or something? Yeah, I like, I like doing that in free time. I just have, like, it's completely random. I just, like, I want to do that completely random. Or if it's for a birthday, I do, I do it, like, because I want to. Uh, no, yeah. Okay. Can you make That's any other thing. foods other than cake? Uh, I could make, make. I don't know what I. So I can make a French thing. It's like um, it's you. It's like potatoes. You put them on with um, whipped cream, like not whipped cream, but some sour cream, and then with with cheese and everything, and it's very good. And I can make lasagna. By yourself? But that, yeah, but that's complicated. Okay. Uh, because I always, I, yeah, I always mess up the sauce. You make the sauce. You make your own sauce. Yeah, the white sauce. I always mess that up. Cool. That's pretty cool. Did you learn just like mm -hmm. just because you were bored, or your parents teach you, or? Like my grandma taught me a lot about that, mm -hmm. and my sister did. So I just watched them and then I wanted to do it myself and it kind of worked. Well, that's neat. Okay. What was that? The, do you, if you, do you know, have a, do you have like a, another, like if you can't say it in English, can you type it out in like another language? Like the French thing? Or do you don't have uh, a name for it? I, I have like German, German, French and English besides English, like German, French. Those okay. are my two bilingual main languages. Okay. So did that French thing that you can find the name of can you say it in french like can you type it out in french or german yeah it's just like french you just i can speak french no, fluent no, 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 i don't mean like language. i mean like the, the the dish you're talking about like the french dish oh the, the dish potato and the... i'm talking about yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah right a, do you have a name uh, for it? like in french or german like you can type it out yeah i do i just need to be sure that i type it right because i'm not sure how you let me just 
Um, or is or could I just type in Google potato with sour cream and? No, no, no. This French, wouldn't work. I could French send you a picture of that, or you want the name? Yeah, the name. You could you could type right. it out in French. Like make sure it's the right thing, and then you just type it out, and then I could just look it up. Yeah, I found it. I found it. Let let just just Google that. You find it. Here, here you go. Gratin d'alf. That's how it's called. How how do you say it? You can. You, you say you say gratin. Gratin. Uh, dauphinois. Dauphinois. Oh, it's like dolphin, like dolphin, but dauphinois. dauphinois. Gratin. Yeah. Dauphinois. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's really cool. All right. Uh, okay. Do you have any goals in your life? Being successful. Well, that's don't just, get homeless. Um, don't get homeless. <laughs> Be successful. <laughs> yeah, like don't mess up your life. Like I don't know, live a good life, I guess, healthy life. Um. Anything else? No, not really. Right. Do you have any small goals you're live. going for right now? Yeah, be a lawyer. That's, that's a, that's a pretty be. big goal. I think that's a big goal. Okay. Um, a little goal. Make better food myself. Learn. Learn more recipes or something. Yeah, learn more and like upgrade my, my main things. Like get better at those. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any hobbies? I know you cook. I play... You play, tennis. You play tennis. I play the electric guitar oh, and I shoot. play um the drums. And you cook. Yep. And you play video games. Yeah, not that much. Not but that yeah. Much. Okay. Cool, I guess. Not that much as you I play the electric, other things. You play electric guitar, that's neat. Uh you know, like um, mm -hmm. how long have you been learning to play? One and a half year now. I think you're pretty okay with it? Yeah, kind of. Okay. Still learning a lot, but yeah, it's getting better. I can tell. What does the electric guitar sound like? So the thing is, you have a, a volume thing with different skill, like with different tones. The basic tone is like, it sounds like an acoustic guitar, but just a little a, a much, much, much quieter, and uh, and just like yeah, where you have different modes, like where you can go um, on hard full metal or just like basic but just louder, something like that. Why is it called electric? You can plug it in. You have to charge it. Because yeah, yeah, no, oh, no, no, no. You can plug it in in a in a kind of a module in a thing where you can play songs louder and then you you can play like different different sounds and it's much louder than an acoustic guitar when it's plugged in and uh it's electric because like the guitar itself isn't like electric like you don't don't need to charge it or plug it in for electricity but you need to plug it in if you want a louder sound like you don't have to, but it would be much better. That's pretty interesting. Okay, what's the most what's the most complicated thing you can play on it right now? Ooh, there's a lot. Like uh, one song I can't play at all is I just began playing that. It's maybe you know it. Um, Twenty One Guns. Nope. Because it is a can Yeah, it's a Green Day song. Oh, so Twenty One and... Guns by Green Day. Yeah, you right. You like that song? Yeah, it's a good song. I mean, it's not hard, but it's like the the moves to play, the timing is the thing. And they can time that very good. Like play it fast as fast as possible. It's the only thing that messed me up. What about That's some, all. What about something that you can play? Uh, I can play "Hey Jude" from the Beatles. It's a pretty basic song. And um, what I can play too is uh, no Seven Nation Army. Oh, like the yeah. yeah that's then, good. You can play that whole thing da, 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 like that. Not yeah. It's it's pretty easy. It's like one concept. You just 
um, you just play the beginning and then you change it and then it's like that the whole time. How are what are the and notes? What are the notes and scales on the electric guitar? How different? So is... you have a you have six different tones with different um, numbers. So you could count it like that. You just go one to fifteen, I guess. I'm not sure. And then you you play. So if you watch on notes, you see all of the six things you can play on with different numbers on, and you play it then like this. Or something like that. It's kind of called. It's it, it's it's very easy. Let me just show you a picture, and then I can maybe you can get a better image of what I mean. Um, let me just. Uh, uh, this isn't what I mean. Wait. Uh, while you're looking for it. Uh, why did you choose to play the electric guitar? What motivated you? Because I loved, because I had like a, a, I loved um, watching, uh, like listening to the Beatles. Oh, and like the Beatles? at that time, yeah, and at that time I wanted to play the electric guitar because they had a lot of cool songs. And my goal was to play Hey Jude on it. Since I can it now, I'm pretty happy. Okay. And uh, like I wanted to play different guitar songs, except then drums, like something like that. Like you have two different things: you have chords and the normal things you can play on. It's kind of a different thing. Okay. But you learn it easily. What about drums? Um, how's that? So I play drums in. I'm 14 now. Let me just think because I played it since fourth grade, so it's kind of five years ago now. Okay. And I played there a lot because I like I like the drums. It's like a thing you can just like you're the leader of the song. You do the beat. You do the you do like the you're like one of the most important parts of the band. And um, if you mess up, like the whole song is. And even though, yeah, it's kind of cool. Is it? It's because a lot of pressure too, right? No, like it's actually the most of the things are pretty easy, but okay. they're like things that are very hard to play on, and you get very fast, and then just destroy everything if you don't mess up. <laughs> Smash like the the drum, <laughs> break your sticks. I'm assuming you use sticks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, okay, so what can you play on your drums, I guess, like, beat, beat-wise, like, the most complex or most fast? Yeah, so most of the things I play on is on the, on, like, a, a drum book I have. Okay. I could play some Beatles song, but not much, like Penny Lane. Um, I can play Revolution. And... And I can play a little more, but I don't remember. It's not, it's not like different song names. I don't remember them. Okay. You see. I just need to remember. Okay, cool. And you said you play, you occasionally play video games, I guess. Like occasionally. Yeah. What are your favorite mm -hmm. video games? So, I love Dead by Daylight. Okay. One of my games I like. Uh, I love VR games. You have VR? I have like, yeah, 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 I have VR. Oh shoot! What 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 is it? What what type? Oculus Rift S. How much that cost? Four hundred eighty bucks. Oh <laughs> jeez. It's a it was a birthday present. Oh. And um, so my favorite, I love like co-op zombie games or something like that, because those are really cool games. Uh, you can play on and you have a it's cool because you have a free will you can just like if you if you want to you could just easily slap slap your teammates or just like i don't know do some weird shit because you have the choice to do that it's cool okay and, so um, what are some uh vr games you like 
Uh, one of those is The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners. Uh, second one is uh, Arizona Sunshine. Hold on, The Walking Dead. <laughs> Arizona Sunshine. Yeah, Arizona Sunshine, like Arizona, the state. Yeah, and there's um, Zero Caliber VR. Zero what? Zero Caliber VR. Wait, let me just like that. Like you type it like, yeah. Okay. And then there's a uh, blade and sorcery. Oh, I I think I've heard of that game. That game sounds that's a wacky game, right? You can like you you you're in like an arena, right? Kinda. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you can, yeah. Just and you can fight yeah. people and slice their heads off and <laughs> do. Yeah, can, exactly. Like, this is cool. This is yeah. awesome. Okay. You can yeah, you can do everything. You can shoot fireballs, or you can just use the gravity gravity spells and shoot them into space if you want to. You could freeze time, I the think. Or like slow down. Yeah, you can like make a kind of ball that slows everything down. That's cool. Okay. I love it, yeah. Okay, cool. It's awesome. Yeah. All right, why do you like Dead by Daylight? Dead by Daylight is a game I play a lot with friends mm -hmm. because playing that alone is kind of not cool. Um, Playing the game gives you a kind of dominating, like when you play as a killer, you have a very dominant role and you feel like someone powerful, like you can just lose by es by letting them escape. You can't die. It's like a beautiful feeling. And um, it's one of this, those games I like sweating. It's very hard though, because I have a friend that's in good league and he's a good player, but um that's that is a problem because i'm a noob at this game i suck at this game i'm trying to get better though <laughs> and um so, like the main problem is because of like because of he's most mostly delir so he's like um so we always get hard enemies opponents hard girls to play against that's a problem like the biggest problem Oh, uh, okay. How do you get good at that game? What are the you tactics? Learn, what are some stuff you, you learn? Get good like, at? there's something called looping. Like, you can loop an enemy by, uh, when they're like just about to hit you, you just turn around, and like do a 360. So you loop them. You can loop them by going through windows and throwing pellets down, so they have to destroy it or get through it, which slows them, like in a big difference and um you need to learn good strats as killers too since you need to win the, the game how uh so as the killer well how do you get good you just you have to be able to catch the people who are running around i've heard of the game. yeah right you need to like there are characters with different power like like yeah and for that you need to you need to to learn a lot about their mechanics and how to play them because they're like characters, like they have a chainsaw. It's, he's called Hillbilly. He has a chainsaw and he can push you easily. But that is kind of hard because you need to master him. It's not an easy character to play with. And to win against, like to win against it, you need to push forward. You can use that as, as a strat to move on. Or you can use that just to to hit opponents to go through pellets, but it's it is hard to learn. Like, do, you, do you main a? Do you have like a certain character you choose to play as? Yes, I do. What is it? And his name his name is Ghostface. That's the killer. Yeah. You know Ghostface from the movies, maybe scary movie. No, nah, I. Oh wait, is it? No, I'm thinking of the scream mask. No, I don't know who the ghost face looks like. Yeah, it is him. The scream mask guy. Yeah, yeah, Kinda. yeah, yeah. With with the knife. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. It is him. Wait, let me show you a picture. I know what he. I think I know what he looks like. Um. So why do you why do you prefer to play as Ghostface? Because he has a very strong ability, and if you because playing him is hard, and if you get good at playing him, you can be a good player. But, like, he isn't, like, overpowered hard, like, unfair hard. 
But if you play him good, it could be hard to win against him. And that's why I like playing him. He can, like, this, stalk you. What does stalking and, mean? Yeah, he can. Game. So he can, like, he, he sees you when he, he he's on focus for you. He can teleport teleports towards you and then gives you an insane good hit, which is very important. Is that his only ability? Yeah, so, like, tra- like, characters have only one or two special abilities. One of the ghost faces is this, and he can hear like easily uh, his the survivors like much easier. Do you have a certain Do you have a certain survivor you like to play as? Yeah, I do. Uh, one of them is I think he has a name Bill or something. Bill. Uh, because yeah, something like Bill because he has very strong something, perks. Something like Bill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because. Because he has like Bill in his name, is his um, how do you call it? Uh, um, what are his perks? Like Billy? Like he has a perks. He has a perks. Like when he gets down, he can stay up alone without getting healed, and he can. I think it was him, but he can. Like if you if you get on a hook, like the the girl needs to hook you. If you get hooked. There is a very four small chance, like four percent, of um, of escaping the hook. But when you play him, you have a, a special ability by when you heal someone, uh, and so like when you get someone off the hook, and then you get on the hook, you can escape by yourself alone, without without getting damaged. Wow. And this is kind of strong, yeah. Jeez. Okay. Does he have any downsides? No, he don't. <laughs> that sounds broken. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, he isn't broken. He's just, he's just like, you need to skill a lot to play him, uh, to play those those perks. So it's like kind of fair, I guess. What about Ghostface? Does he have any downsides? Does he move slower or something? Well, he's, yeah, he just, no, the only difference is he's a little bit slower, but he can push easily what when you, he stalks at you. What do you mean by push? You use that like, word. I mean, like when he sees someone, and he's on focus of the of the survivor for a couple of seconds, he can push, like he can teleport nearby them, like really nearby without them hearing it. So when you mean you push, just, you mean teleport? Yeah, you just like yeah, you just go straight up to them, okay. just uh, straight disappear, and then he's there, and. uh I think you can you can you have a different like kind of sound or something, but this is kind of strong. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do you have a favorite book, Max? A book? Yeah, I do. I love the Diary of. Then maybe you know those. The uh, the or whole something. series. Uh, yeah, I've, yeah. I've, I've yeah. Been, you like Diary yeah. of a Wimpy Kid? Oh shoot, it's relatable. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. It's like they, it's it it really is a good thing because it's like it's like not that childish and it's not like speaking main facts. It's just cool. I just like those. Those are kind of childhood related and what's cool about those is that the series I don't think that it would end soon and you have like 13 bo- books of them. So Okay. Guess, guess you have a lot. Do you have a book that you don't like? A book that I don't like. Mm. Yeah, mostly like I could, I can say like a kind, a kind of um, like a specific. I don't like like romance books. Those are, let me just say straight up bullshit. <laughs> there you go. You find them unrealistic. No, I just don't like them because they're like always. Yeah, you love him. Uh, so love him. There's some, there's someone shit, and then they, I don't know. They hate because she she thinks something different, and then they get along, and uh, I don't know. Not your type of thing. Hmm. Not your type of thing. You're not into that. No, not really. Okay. It's not really speaking really of thing. speaking of love. Have you ever had a crush okay. on someone? I did, yeah. 
and it went not good. What do you mean by that? Well, let's just say I got along with this person and she was real nice. Turns out she already had someone she likes. So she was just nice because, yeah, friends, okay. I guess. That sucks. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, it wasn't cool. Well, why did you okay, have a yeah. why did you have a crush on her? I don't know. I were like it was uh 2 years ago. And it was like I could I could tell it was a little bit because of because she was nice and I got like she was in general she was a good person. She just came up every every time and I don't know. Then something Okay. Came out of it, and then yeah. Do you have any political beliefs? Do I have beliefs? Political, politics. A political politics, um, like something that I don't like about. about or you mean? Just political beliefs, like any. Oh well, I just, I just, yeah, politics are kind of. Complicated. I don't have a lot to say about that because, like, mostly politics are just, I don't know, talking and not doing. Okay, fair, fair enough. Yeah, uh, why did you join a Quackity server? Why I did join the server? Because of a friend. He went there because of the YouTuber, because mm. they make dumb shit there. And he told me to go over there too. And and then then he said he told me and then just go into a talk and then people are talking about some stuff and something like that I don't know so I went there and was like okay cool it's kind of cool it's kind of cool and yeah that's how it was pretty yeah have you made any friends from being on Discord? I did yeah well I I. I don't think I did in Discord, but I did on PlayStation actually. Um, I have a friend. Uh, he lives in Austria, and so a good friend of me, like I know in real life, has another friend, uh, which I know, and I wanted to visit him tomorrow. The guy I was talking about, and so there was one day there was someone joining a party. Because and then he left and was there with him alone and we get we got good along. Now we're best friends. We have different we have snaps of each other. We have our, our number of each other. We know everything about each other. Cool. That's cool. We like text every day and do some dumb shit. Yeah. And yeah. Okay. I did like I did I didn't meet someone from from Discord itself, but I can tell from Rainbow Six Siege on PC. I was playing with a friend who told me to go on their play server, by the way. And so we went, we were playing Rainbow, we saw we had German, and I would text it, something stupid, and then we got good friends, and now, yeah, now that's we're good nice. friends. That's nice. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Uh, do you have a favorite TV show? I do, yeah. Uh, I like Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Brooklyn, is that like a cop thing? Yeah, it's a cop, cop uh, slash comedy thing, I could tell. Oh, it sounds familiar. Brooklyn, just 99 the number? Yeah, Brooklyn 99, I guess. Okay. You should you can type it, you can find it, find it easily. Then okay. there's something I like is I don't know, you I'm pretty sure you know Family Guy. Do you like how the show is right now or do you like old Family Guy? I prefer the old ones. The new one are just like basic shit. I don't understand anything about that. Do you have you memorized the intro? How many episodes have you? <laughs> a lot. I I watch a lot. All right. Like a, a really lot. I just know the whole, whole intro since now. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. You wanna you wanna duet and <laughs> sing it? Should I sing it now? Oh. <laughs> you you, you want me to? I I could sing it with you. I'm trying to keep up. I mean, I don't mind, but it's kind of okay. It's just that's just yours, okay? It was just weird. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I watch it too too much, way too much, because right. I know everything. Those those retarded bastards. All you need, vines. No, I just 
seconds. No, no, no. It just begins like, it seems today <laughs> that all oh, you, you see, need. it's on. Oh, you're doing Lois, Lois's voice? <laughs> yeah. And all. Where we're all good, all fresh and fair use. And then we used to realize, uh, like it is, it's a family guy. Like it is a menu, positive revenue. All the things that make us laugh and cry. These are me. Okay, wow, I, I would never do the, it again. Memorize the whole thing. <laughs> cool. This was do you have too a, bad. Like, do you, why do you like Family Guy? Like, its humor is just like dumb. Yeah, dumb humor. It, yeah, it's dumb, dumb, stupid humor. Do you like, like the peer, like Peter, Peter Dactyl? Peter Griffin. <laughs> he's cool. He's cool. Yeah, he's stupid, but he's cool. Okay. I mean, let's just yeah. Okay. Do you have a favorite movie? <laughs> Uh, yes, I do have a favorite movie, and its name is, uh, actually, it's because that's the re reason why I play, actually, the ghost face, because it is hell, uh, not hell, uh, scary movie. Which one? Scary because movie one? The, f the first one, yep. Just scary movie one. The first yeah. one. I need to specify. First one. Yeah. Movie. Yeah. It was like the. Yep. Was it scary for you or? No, it was just more like dumb shit. <laughs> it was like comedy horror or something like that. Uh, and you really liked it. Mhm. Mm okay. You have a job. If I do have a job, I mean, does school count as job? Kinda, yeah, but you don't, you don't, you don't make money. But I kind of. I don't know. Well, I don't like because still, you know, <laughs> I'm fourteen. Well, I need to do a a kind of um thing to learn about job next year. So I guess I will work at um at a lawyer thing. So this would be like cool. A law firm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you this use, will be pretty cool. Do you use social media? Yes. Name them all, every social media that you use. Oh, God. Okay, so as you know, I use as Discord. Yes. If it, if Discord counts at one. Then I use um, Snap. I use Instagram. When you say Snap, you mean Snapchat, right? Yeah, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about... Um, I talk about two like I already kind of Discord in. I could talk about um just PlayStation like itself to party count as no not really right. Maybe I don't know if you talk. I don't know. I don't know. Could count. Yeah. Then I have um. <sighs> oh, let me let me let me watch my phone. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I know what I mean. Uh, then I use. YouTube as a social media, if it is, if it is one, I guess. I think so. And yep, that's all. All right, cool. I don't use TikTok. Bleh. You don't like TikTok? No, it's not really my thing. Okay. Do you have a favorite anime? Yes, because there's I watch only two animes, and my favorite one is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You watched every season of every animated every season? No, I'm about to watch it right now. I'm not done yet. Wait, what watched... which season are you going to watch? I'm about to watch the second one. Oh, with the 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 guy <laughs> the the Oh, so you completed the first one? Are you going in order? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you got through like the first Joe Star guy. And yeah, Dio, now we're about to talk about um the Haman now some more stuff with stuff. Okay. Yeah. Now you got oh yeah, there are vampires in the second one, I think. Yeah, no, zombie vampires. No, 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 not vampires. The first one has vampires, but the second zombie one... vampires, I guess it was. Yeah, but the second one, there's gonna the Pillar Men. Have you heard of that? The Pillar theme song. No. Oh, the Pillar theme song is like is like look it up on YouTube. That's like a meme. All right, whatever. You hear that, but yeah, the second season is great. I like every season. I like I watched okay. all the way up to the uh the the Giorno Giovanna, you know that guy? 
Yeah. yeah. You mean journal. Yeah, you know the theme song goes like. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's really no. Yeah, yeah. That's my alarm. Yeah, it's my that's, alarm that's, time. That's that's the last. That season has been amazing too. All right. Cool. Yeah. Have, have fun watching it. Yeah. Thank you. Wait, you said you watched two animes. What's the other anime you watched other than? I watched. I watched. A t- no, I watched. I watched way more, but like my two favorite are favorites are Attack on Titan and uh, JoJo's reckon- Bizarre Adventure. You watched all of Attack on Titan? How many seasons? No. I watched like I watched the the first season. I finished that one. But now I'm focusing on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure before I went on to to the next to the next thing. Okay. All right. Okay. Um do you have a favorite genre of music? Uh no, I I listen types you have a favorite like a band really... or favorite artist yeah yeah i, I have like I, first of all i like i said i like the beatles mm. um i do like a artist named Lil darky Lil darky i've heard of him yeah and i've heard and um of course one of those i like to are eminem the eminem the candy or the, the rapper? Yeah, the real Slim Shady. The, 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 the rapper. The candy or the, the rapper? The rapper. Okay. Because the you rapper like his is music? Like, yeah, he's, he makes cool music. You like his old music or his new one? New music. His old. I prefer his old. Like the new music is kind of, I don't know, something. Co- I don't know. It is like. The old ones were always like kind of related to a little bit the same, was like kind of a little bit aggressive, just a little bit. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite songs of him is Rap God. Oh, he speaks real fast in that one. Yeah, he does. One of those is, um, it's called Venom and The Real Some Shady. Those are my three favorites. Okay. Uh, okay. Why do you like, um, I guess the Beatles? <clears throat> you mentioned that you could play a lot of Beatles songs. Yeah, because they were like the, the character, the, the persons I was like motivated to, of, of their music. And I just, I don't know why. I just, I just like their, their art, their song art and everything about them. Your music like too? Their, yeah. The music, the, the singer, like the the Beatles themselves, and like that, they're like super awesome. You have a favorite song? Yeah, I do. I have two of them. Okay. One of them is um, "Back in the USSR." Back. And the other one in the US USSR. By who? Who's the the person? By the Beatles. Back in the USSR, the Beatles. And revolution from the. Um, revolution. Yep. By the Beatles. Yeah, Revolution. Yep. Okay. And you do you like Hey Jude? Or you don't like that anymore? Yeah, I do like it too. Well, it's like a song I prefer playing on guitar than singing it or just listen to it. Okay. What about other than the Beatles? Any favorite songs of other artists? Uh, yeah, like I said, like Rap God from Lil Ducky. You haven't heard of that song I was talking about? Rap like God rap, by Lil rap, Darky? No, rap, rap God by Eminem. Yeah, I've heard of that. Of course. And um uh rap music by Lil Darky. Lil Darky. Rap music? Yeah. Rap music, yeah. Just rap music, that's the song title. Okay. Actually, I don't know why, but you just Uh I've listened to Lil Darky a little bit. Like there's a lot of um I guess you could say there's a lot of cursing, a lot of profanity in it. Yeah, like, like you can say aggressive, aggressive singing, aggressive, edgy, or dark, dark rap, or whatever you call it. You, you said yeah. it's rap as well. So, do you like that style? Yeah, like no, it's like the the character, like the the artist himself is cool because he's like I just saw an interview with him, mm-hmm. and he makes like awesome, like he he speaks like you know he just doesn't care about people giving their opinions on him he just say okay well he just goes like yeah okay then people people are caring about my about that i'm cursing or saying the n-word or something Mm -hmm. well he does that and 
there you go. You can like it's it's cool. Like I just I just, I don't know but why, but I just like that kind of things. Seeing those. Okay. And he's yeah. And his music is pretty cool too. Yeah, I like his music. Aggressive, confrontational, loud. Yeah, it's like it's like just I don't like I just don't like a lot of those, but those are like songs I really like. It's like a just because of this, you could say because of this specific song. I'm not sure if it's just because of that. Okay. Like yeah, he makes good good music. Are you single? Yes. Okay. Do you remember your first relationship? No, I never had one. Can okay. I stand though? Do you have a favorite meme? Yes. I have a lot of favorite memes. Give one. First of all, one the one and the one and guy I always there's a, even a song about him. Hold on, I want to send you the picture because the picture is the thing. All right, so this guy is my one of my favorite memes. Oh, wait, hold on. let me just. Uh, yep, there you go. Why do you like Big Chungus, man? Why do you like Big Chungus, man? <laughs> because I just, I just love the this, this song about him and there's like the meme. It's, yeah, there's a song called Jeez. Big Chungus. Why they it make... always goes. Yeah. You like it? No. You like the song? What, what's yeah, funny it always... about it? Is it because he's fat? It's just... No, no, because like I watched the, I watched the the series as he just shaped into him. And then, like the meme evolved, they got pretty big, and it's just it's just stupid, you know. This mm -hmm. is why I love I love like memes because it's just stupid, like random shit, like you know. You see big chungus, well there, there you go. Now you have big Mickey Mouse. You see, that's all is different, and I just don't know why. I just think it's funny, just seeing those random things, like like I don't know, a, a guy going underwater and then just go, Bleh. or like something like that. I just don't know why. What's my kind of humor? I can't. I, I can't fix it. I just laugh at every stupid shit. I understand. All right. Do you do drugs? No. Are you sure? Yes. Do you write? Drugs. What I mean is poetry or stories or no, something. No, I'm no, I'm not. No. Not no. No. Okay. Do you sing? No. Well, I sing in, when listening to a song. Yes, but that's all. Okay. Are you a part of the LGBTQ community? No, I can't consider myself as a part. Okay. What is your ethnicity? My ethnicity? Yep. Where are you from? <sighs> oh, like, um, I am, I have like three different ethnicity. Um, and, and one of those is like a, mom so she's like french french german because my my grandpa's french and my grandma's german um my dad is completely turkish so turkey turkish so i have like three different yeah i could say um different ethnicities i guess i don't know you call it like that do, uh do you mind if i ask what your skin color is I guess I'm basic white, yeah. Okay. Uh, you mentioned you can only speak three languages, which is French, German, English, so you can't speak Turkish? No, I can't speak Turkish because I never learned that. Okay. Would you like to speak some uh, German right now? I could if you want me to, sure. Do you know any curse words in German? Like shut up? Or yes, F -U? a lot, a lot. Okay. I know more. All right. I, I, I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure I know more German words than, like, curses than English ones. Okay, pretty so sure. how do you say shut up in German? You just say halt's maul. How do you say it? Halt's maul. Really? That's yeah. that sounds. All right, how do you say um, F-U in German? Fick this. Just like that? Just repeat it? Yep. Yeah. Just like that. Okay. Something else. How do you say, how do you say, I effed your mom? Oh my god. Um, ich habe deinen Mutter gefickt. Say it again. 
Ich habe deine Mutter gefickt. I see. What a lovely language German is. Yeah. How do you say, like, I don't know German, sorry. In German. Es tut mir leid, ich kann kein Deutsch. Okay. Cool. And how do you say goodbye in German? Auf Wiedersehen. And uh, hello? Good. No, you just say, like, if you just say hello, you just, just like the same, but with an A. Okay. What about French? You know any French curse words? Yes. All right. How do you say shut up in French? You just, you just say tutoie. Tutoie? Tutoie. Tutoie? Tutoie, yeah. Really? Oh, shoot. Mm -hmm. How do you say F you? Uh, it says something like Pichetoi. How do you say? Pichetoi. Pichetoi? Pichetoi, yeah. Okay. How do you say uh, I do not know French? Sorry. Uh, je suis désolé, je parle pas de français. Cool. Yeah. How do you say goodbye in French? Au revoir. Au revoir. Cool. Yes. You're fluent in both German and French? Yep. That's... Like I grew up in Germany, that's why I speak German. And I speak French with my family, like my mom and that's, dad. And... That's cool. No, just with my mom and sister. Okay. Um, and uh, where do you live right now? You live in France? Or in Germany. Germany? Okay. In the, in the northwest of Germany. Like next to next to the Netherlands. Okay. Uh, all right. I guess I'm going to end it here. Um, thank you all for right. the interview, Max. I'll send you I'm the pre- link when I'm done. Thank I'm you. happy. I'm happy that you did that. I'm glad. Thanks for the interview. Mm, of course. Um,